Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be playing Paper Mario Color Splash. It's going to be a new series on the channel and I do actually plan to play other Paper Mario games if not all of them because I don't have access to the second game because I didn't buy it on a virtual console on the Wii U when it was available. I do have the first game on the Wii U Virtual Console, and I own a copy of the third game, which I can also play on the Wii U because it plays Wii games, and then this Color Splash and Origami King, of course I have it on the Switch. Now when that came out, that came out almost a year ago at this point, probably like 11 or 10 months ago, because I'm pretty sure it came out in... Uh, it came out in July, but it was released, the trailer was released in May or June. I think it was in June, probably, but I didn't play that game on the channel. I kind of just wanted to play it during my own time, and it was really fun, I did really enjoy it. I actually really enjoyed all the Paper Mario games, some of them more than others, but I still really liked all of the games, and Color Splash is one that I did really enjoy, so I'm very excited to be playing this game. Out of all three of the new games, because they have different themes, stickers, paint, and origami. I do really like the paint theme the best out of all of them. So Color Splash is definitely my favorite out of Sticker Star and Origami King. The thing with Sticker Star is I might not be able to play that on the channel because that would require me to get my hands on a 3DS that has a capture device installed inside of it, which is hard to come by nowadays since um, Nintendo has discontinued support for the 3DS. Now they're primarily focusing on the Switch. So since the demand went down for those um, capture devices being installed inside of 3DSs, a lot of those companies that were making them did shut down. So if I can, then I of course will be playing a lot of um, DS and 3DS games on the channel in the future, but for now, it's just gonna have to be like PC games, PlayStation games, Wii U games, Wii games, Switch games, all that good stuff. And some other older games where I can potentially get them on newer systems. But without further ado, let's jump in to Paper Mario Color Splash. I see. Are you able to get a new file? Oh my. Open Can you only have one file? No way. I almost 100% of the game. The only thing I didn't 100% is the um the rock paper scissors temples. I only completed 2 out of 8, so there's 6 left for me to do. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Don't want to back out. Settings. Um. Uh. <laughs> Alrighty, I switched users, I created a second profile, which I didn't even know you could do on the Wii U, and now I can have a new save file of Paper Mario Color Splash. So this actually works the same way that the Switch does, where um, for some games that you can't have a second save file on, all you have to do is create another profile, another user, and then you can play the game from there. 
with a brand new save file. The only exception to that, of course, is Animal Crossing New Horizons, but, you know. And th that really does make the Wii U quite similar to the Switch. It really is the precursor to it. But yeah, you can see here we have a folded up toad that was mailed to Peach. Kind of creepy. Very weird. And now we're gonna venture over there, make our way there, to try and see what's up with the toad. Why was he missing his color like that? We get this epic cinematic opening. Braving through the storm, but it's sunny now and we've made it. Guys, we're here! So this is the famous Port Prisma. It's so peaceful and quiet. Really quiet. Where is everybody? Ah, it's nice to be on dry land again. You can see if you played Origami King that some of like the sounds and similar stylistic choices were carried over, of course. We have come to the right place, haven't we, Port Prisma? I thought this was supposed to be a little tourist destination. It seems a little quiet, don't you think? He just got finished saying that. Yeah, weird. I even let them know we were coming. You'd think they'd prepare a warmer welcome for Princess Peach and the world-famous Mario. Speaking of Mario, what's he doing? Mario, we're here. Come on out. Oh, that was quite a storm last night, wasn't it? You poor thing. Ah, you look like used up you look like a used up gum wrapper. Iron yourself out, man. There's my Mario much better. Alright, let me just take another look at this letter. Oh, I just can't bear to think about what I'm really holding. A folded up colorless toad. The only clue we have is that he was postmarked here in Port Prisma. Not to worry, Princess. I've read about the Port Prisma guidebook cover to cover. We'll want to head to Prisma Fountain in the center of town. It's a big tourist attraction. From there, maybe we'll run into some locals who can help us. Sounds like a plan. But I've got a bad feeling about this place. Let's proceed with caution. Ah, now we're talking. Looks like there's something up on that box. Think you can jump up there and check it out, Mario? Yeah. So there's a hammer here, and you do actually want to grab this, otherwise you can't progress, because there is a box blocking the way forward. So let's pick this up. And we got a hammer! Score! This totally makes up for me accidentally tossing your hammer overboard during the voyage, right? Can't believe he would do that. I bet it works just like your old one. Try pressing B to swing it. Here we go. We can grab all of these coins. And destroy all of these boxes and barrels. Sorry, Crate, you gave us no choice. Let's check out the town. Mr. Box, gotta break them all. Yeah. 
area. It's kind of a barren wasteland. And also is seeming quite colorless in some places. Wow, this is a real ghost town. This can't be right. Are you sure this is Prisma Fountain Toad? According to my guidebook, the fountain is a glorious rainbow of happiness and joy. So, um, yeah, this doesn't seem right. I'll take a look around and see if I can find someone. There's no mistaking the postmark on this poor toad. He was definitely mailed from Port Prisma. But who could have done such a thing? that some kind of device just rose out of the fountain maybe you should take a closer look at it sure thing peach let's check this emergency recovery unit in case of emergency activate these three switches hidden in the plaza blue hit yellow pull red jump well cool. looks like we found yellow and that'll activate that switch. So I think it was blue hit or blue... No, red jump, because I can see it over here. And then blue we have to hit. And it's right here. Huh? Is that a paint can? Well, uh, let's check it out. <laughs> Kiwi! Ow! What was that for? How would you like it if I whacked you with a hammer while you were sleeping? We're so sorry, it's just that we thought you were a paint can, so we tried to open you up. Paint can? You think I'm just some regular paint can? Alright, you don't look like you're from around here, so I'll forgive that comment. But I am so much more than a regular paint can. Anyway, now that I'm awake, you wanna grab a burger or something? Your treat. Oh, um, we're actually here to investigate a strange letter we received from your town. Only, it's not an ordinary letter. It's a toad, drained of color and postmarked from Port Prisma. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Princess Peach from the Mushroom Kingdom. And this is my friend, Mario. He jumps on things and hits them with a hammer when necessary. Oh, she tells it like it is and she does us dirty by calling us her friend. You can especially tell that because of the dot 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 after my. She didn't even know what to call us. My goodness, man. And I also have a very bright and hard-working retainer around here somewhere. Not anymore! <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> what was that? Stop! Get off me! Yeah, we gotta go save her, um, retainer. That doesn't sound good! Yeah, yep, you're right, it doesn't. I sounded like Toad. He might be hurt or in trouble. We're coming, Toad! Yeah, let's make our way over there real quick-like. Gotta save Toad. Stop it! Bye, my beautiful colors! Goodness, what is that thing doing to him? Mario, help me! I, I can't feel my pants! But I did find something that might come in handy. Take these, and remember me, fondly! Damn, that's a lot of cards, bro. This guy found like a whole deck. You got a bunch of cards, yeah. And he's dead. That's actually really grim. I mean, we, we'll get to save him later, but that's still pretty grim. Toad, no! 
Toad, what are you waiting for, Mario? Use those battle cards on this sucker. Yeah, this... Here he comes. This shy guy? Or I guess he's a straw guy. Hold it! Do you even have any paint, Mario? Uh, no. Sniff, sniff. You don't have any paint! I can smoke paint from a mile away. What do you want to do? There's no paint around here. Oh, there's no other choice. Mario, you're gonna have to ring me out. Just press A to give me a squeeze. Don't be shy now. And that's how you can turn 3D objects into 2D. Either by slamming them against the surface and turning them into a sticker, wringing them out, getting all the paint out of them and turning them into a piece of paper, I guess. And, well, there weren't any three-dimensional objects. Things, as they're called in Origami King. Only in Sticker Stone Color Splash. Ooh, I'm so light in area. Is this what you paper folk feel like all the time? Alright, enough flapping in the wind. The paint you just absorbed is basically my blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, red, yellow, and blue. You'll have to, <laughs> you'll have time to shower later. Use that paint to power up those battle cards your friend gave you, and then use those battle cards to plaster this intro, introverted assassin. Yep, I said that right. Hey, so we're just gonna go ahead and attack you now. I mean, that's cool. No, that's definitely not cool, and since when were there three of you? Whatever. We've got cards, we've got paint. You know what to do, Mario. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out. You have no idea what to do, do you? Well, actually, I do. So you guys don't get to see this because you can't record off of a, um... A Wii U gamepad, but he was talking to me down here, and he's basically teaching me how to do battle in this game. I already know how to, so um, I'll just ignore basically everything that he says. Just skip through all of this and get to battling. Oh, this is all touchscreen? Yo, it's all touchscreen. I did not remember that. Card ready when you're ready. Yep, give it a try. Yep, now we gotta paint the card. And the more you paint it, the stronger it'll be. And we're gonna paint the card, flick it straight up. And of course the jump and hammer system work basically the same as in Origami King. The hammer system I think is the only different thing. It's not quite the same. Yep, mm-hmm. You can also tap the gamepad instead of pressing A. Which is kinda weird. There we go, the jump's easy. Yeah, you can block. In the Paper Mario series, you can block, whereas in the Mario and Luigi series, you can actually dodge. Kind of two different concepts there for defense. Let's select another card. Card ready. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to paint it first. It's been a while since I've played this game. Might be four years since i played this game. Maybe even five. Oops. I was not ready for that. Because I finished this game shortly before the Switch came out. And it actually, uh, this game came out at the end of the life cycle of the Wii U as well. So, it is not that old of a game. And since the Wii U didn't do too well, and it didn't have a lot of great games when it came out first, some people might not have even played games like these. 
that were exclusive to the Wii U. So I, I would actually really love to see some older um, RPG Mario games come to Switch, either from the Paper Mario series or the Mario & Luigi series. That would be really nice to see those old games kind of remade. Because the only games that are currently being remade, I think, are Zelda games. Baby Pokemon games or like other games of the sort, but like, I don't think Mario games have ever been remade for newer consoles. They've just been ported. Color be impressed. You're a natural kid. Oh, port code. Everyone, a moment of silence, please. Man, I'm starving. How about that burger? I oh, don't worry about Toad there. He'll be fine. Walk it off, bud. Hmm? Well, maybe he's in rougher shape than I thought. No worries, just needs a fresh co new coat of paint. Then he'll be as good as new. Really? You can revive him with paint? That would be a miracle. He won't come back as some kind of freaky zombie toad, right? No ma'am, he'll be the same toad he's always been. That's the power of paint. See, paint isn't just for powering up battle cards. Paint adds beauty and life to the world. So I've taken the liberty of loading up your hammer with all the colors of the rainbow. Go on and press X to give it a swing. Aim for your pasty friend here. Just five more minutes, Mom. Wait, what? I'm alive! And I can feel my pants. Yeah! Oh, Toad, I'm glad you're okay. Without your colors, we could hardly recognize you. See, that's the power of paint. Now, I've got to warn you, I gave you everything I got, but it won't last forever. If you want to keep on painting the world around you, you're going to have to resupply from time to time. So this can here just saved my life. I knew that all the recycling would pay off one day. Hey, just in case we get ambushed by more freaks with bendy straws. Where exactly are we supposed to find all this magical left from paint you speak of? Easy, remember that fountain in the center of town? You know, the one where I was taking a nap. Well, it's the prime source of paint for all of Prism Island. We've got six big paint stars hooked up to the thing, and they'll put it as much paint as you like. Um, yeah, about that Hiwi, they kind of weren't there, but I don't really think you noticed that, buddy. Plus, I mean, paint pretty much files out of everything around here. Try hitting stuff with your hammer. You'll see what I mean. Well, that's wonderful news. I was a little worried because the fountain looked completely dry when we woke you up. Yeah, so I guess we just needed to turn it on or something, right? It was definitely dry when we got here. Wahaha. <laughs> dry. Good one, Toad. Mario, you might want to give this guy another whack with your hammer. I mean, dry? Please. Our big paint stores can never find dry. Come on. I'll show you. Paint stars. I don't know what a paint star is, but I definitely didn't see anything like that. Mario, there's another colorless figure over there. We can't just leave him like that. What should we do? Ah, X is to paint stuff with your hammer, and B is just to use your hammer normally, I see. Welcome to Prism Cardboard. Wait, what's going on? Oh, so this is the shop owner. Last thing I remember, I was surrounded by a bunch of thirsty shy guys. Yeah, they're, they're really thirsty for them paint, bruh. Mario. Nah, there's no way Mario would come all the way to Prism Island. What are you, some sort of Mario impersonator or something? How much do you make for a gig like this? Eight, nine coins an hour? Anyway, stop at my shop in the blue district sometime and pick up some battle cards. Oh yeah, and if you find the shy guy who stole my cards, turn him into scrap paper. Uh, sure thing, buddy. Hey Mario, nice work with the battle cards. I gotta say though, your action command game is looking a little sketchy. If you ever want to practice, just stop by my dojo, or house. Or we can just hang out and watch movies or whatever. I've got surround sound, it won't be weird. Cool. Uh, nice. So let's make our way back over to the center of town. 
and see what Huey's up to. I bet he's freaking out because the paint star isn't there. Uh, yep. He is very sad. <laughs> oh, oh, my precious pink paint stars. They're gone. All gone. I'm pretty sure it's ugly crying in there. Yeah. Um, don't cry, paint can. Maybe we could help you find the, um, what were they called? Big paint stars? It's no use. They're gone. All gone. Port Prisma without big paint stars is like, like a tuna fish sandwich without ketchup. Uh. First of all, I don't really understand that analogy. And secondly, gross. But thirdly, those paint stars do seem really important to you, and you did just save my life. What? Wait a second, what's that smell? It smells like a paint star. I knew it! Guys, look up there! It's one of our big paint stars! Oh, isn't it glorious? It doesn't look that big, bro. It might not be the big paint star, so calm down a little bit. Okay, Princess Mario Toad, you guys can help me after all. Help me recover that big paint star. Again, it doesn't look that big, buddy. I mean, I did basically sacrifice my lifeblood to get you out of that pickle back there. He's right, we definitely owe him a favor. Besides, I have a feeling that this is related to our mystery. Oh, I, I just skipped that, my bad, my bad. What do you say, Mario? Will you help Mr. Can? Yeah, his name's Huey. Mr. Can is my father. You can call me Huey. <laughs> Thanks for all the help, guys. It means a lot. Alright, let's go get that big paint star, shall we? Don't mind me. I'll just tuck myself into your pocket. You want to chat? Yep, he's going to say that a lot. In the early game. Or while I'm around here for some reason. Yep, and just like every other companion, he is going to slip himself into our pockets. Kind of weird, but I mean, it's comfortable in there, so... And yeah, we can talk to Peach and she'll restore our health. We don't really have a lot of... ...paint. Um... But our canister to hold paint will eventually grow to be bigger throughout our journey, so it's okay. Yeah, he's gonna basically hint that we can hit stuff to get paint. Oh, no, 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 oh, cool. Didn't mean to talk to you again. Nope, oh, I didn't. I wanna jump, thank you. Yeah, I'm out of red. So that's good. So right now, I'm just gonna go around and color this whole area. And hey, look, we got a battle card. Running a bit low on red paint right now. 
Yeah. He's gonna ask us for help. No problem, buddy. Mario's here to save the day as usual. Let's go ahead and save the toad that we brought here. Stop, leave me alone, I'm just trying to deliver the mail. Mario, what happened to me? Last thing I remember, I was being assaulted by a bunch of shy guys with straws. Yeah, was that just a dream? I can still feel like there is something wrong with my head. Can you take a look? Wait, first things first, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Toadmaster General here in Port Prisma. Please feel free to stop by my humble postal branch over in the blue disc when you get the chance. You can even set up your mail to be forwarded here while you're in town. Isn't that great? Yeah, it is. That is actually good. And we will get mail in this game, actually, uh, as we progress. Well, thanks for saving me, Mario. Gotta get back to work. And he's just gonna have that sticker on the back of him forever. But it does make him unique, so it is kinda nice. Yeah, we're really running low on some red paint. This should fill us right back up, yep. Looks like this area should now be all colorful again. But if you remember, there were some areas back here that were missing some color, so let's just backtrack a little bit, and... Oh yeah, you get uh, rainbow colors from these. Let's fix this sign. And it says, Port Prisma Harbor District. Yep. And I believe that was the only thing back here without color, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So now we can make our way over to the blue district and see what's up over there. Look at you, Mr. Fixit. This door is as good as new. It should open up right now. Colorless objects won't work right until you restore their color. So don't be stingy with that paint hammer. Yeah, and he's, he's gonna remind us that we can... Boom. I mean, boom! What did all data say it? And I blew it. Whatever, fight me. Yeah, he was gonna keep reminding us that we can talk to him by pressing up on the D-pad. Oh yeah, some of the cards that we gathered already have paint on them. If only I had said boom instead of goom. Oh, it's a hammer scrap. Collect enough of these, you'll be able to store more paint in your paint hammer. Yeah. Enemies will drop them after battle, so pick them up before they disappear. Yeah, that's how we upgrade our paint hammer. The Night Crew World. Wait, you're not a Goomba, you're Mario. Yeah, taken out by a Goomba. Wait, what's going on here? Usually there's water flowing here, making the wheel spin around, and it looks super cool. Now it's just sitting there looking moderately cool, but that's not cool enough. So yeah, we're gonna have to fix that later. Oh uh, yeah, he's gonna remind us about that. Well, I don't need to talk to you, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go around and fix this area. Oh, 
The water wheel is the best. It's easily in my top 500 water wheels. Before you ask, yes, I have seen over 500 water wheels. What the scrap? Why isn't the wheel spinning? Well, fine then. Say goodbye to your top 500 status, you lazy water wheel. Okay, buddy. Not the bridge, anything but the bridge! Oh. That really stinks. Most of the good stuff in the blue district is on the other side of this bridge. And I'm no expert on bridge repairs, but I am an expert on bridge experts, and we're definitely gonna need one. Yes, a bridge expert would be nice right about now. Don't we have one here in Port Prisma? We usually do, but he's out of town. Some... Somewhere doing something. Somewhere. Something. I thought you said you were an expert on bridge experts. Never mind, I guess we'll have to forget about the bridge for now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh yeah. It's really lonely in your pocket, yeah. Yeah, so we're not gonna be able to go over there for a little bit until we find that guy. Yep, I know all about save blocks. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that again. Let's go into the shop and, uh, visit this guy. You got, you're gonna pay for that? Wait, what's going on? Where'd they go? I got swarmed by a bunch of rowdy customers with straws and then everything went white. I wasn't slacking off boss, I swear I'll go jump with some more customers. Welcome. Okay, let's buy some cards from him. Right now, we don't have this, so let's get one of these. That seems good for now. Need anything else? Nope, I'm good. I have a lot of cards. That toad gave me a stack full of cards. So now let's keep making progress, making our way up to that red paint star. And I didn't miss a spot over here. Go, that should do it. I'm just gonna leave that guy in the corner for now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go to the world map. No, no, no. We're not gonna do that just yet. But I do have to make my way all the way back around now because I did just jump off by accident. Wow, wow. Ah, this guy's gonna jump us. Okay. Go disposed of him easily. <laughs> what do you mean? No, get to work, buddy. Dude, I just got here. Of course, I haven't defeated the bad guys, saved the good guys yet. Chill out, man.
Oh no, Mario, it's terrible. Gang of shy guys with straws were roaming around Port Prisma stealing everyone's paint. As the last line of defense activated the emergency TP system, that stands for toilet paper, by the way, which is literally what's right in front of us. But there's no way we can use this much TP. I don't know how to get rid of it. Yeah, we gotta roll all that back up. Let's go investigate this shy guy right now. We gotta talk to him. Hey, you. You wanna hear a juicy secret? Just come a little closer. That's it. Slurp. Where'd my straw go? <laughs> yeah, so this guy's gonna jump us as well. But we can easily take care of him. You want to hear that juicy secret? I wear a mask because I'm afraid to put myself out there. Oh, hey, look at that. We've upgraded our hammer. Now our max is 150. Max paint up. Yeah. So now we can make our way over to, I believe this is the yellow district. And we can just avoid him for a little while. Still got me, yeah. Hey, and we finally got a first strike on one of the guys. Go, that does half damage. There we go. Mario in here, help me. Mario in here, help me. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Let's save the day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a trap. Oh, Mario, my hero. Haha, <laughs> did you really think that squeaky annoying- Did you hear that squeaky annoying voice? I totally crushed that toad impression. Yeah, now he's gonna first strike us. This was a trap. I knew it was a trap, but we still had to do it. The game forced us to do it. Dang, you really are a hero. Yep. Mario in here, help me. Yeah, and this time it's gonna be for real. Mario in here, help me. Like we're gonna fall for that again. Let's go give that shy guy something to be shy about. Whoa, Tiger, take it easy. What were you expecting? My apologies for that rather, um, non-existent welcome to Port Prisma. As you... As you're no doubt aware, we've been dealing with an invasion of paint ceiling hooligans. Anyhow, if things had gone as planned, this wouldn't have been... This would have been your guest quarters. Oh, okay, so this is probably the guy that the Toad contacted before we got here. Yep, and here's Peach coming along. How's it going so far, Mario? Have you recovered that pain stuff for here yet? Ah, Princess Peach. I offer you a... belated welcome to our humble town. I'm sure you must be tired from your long voyage, so please feel free to rest in these quarters anytime. So yeah. Oh, thank you, Purple Toad. We're a bit tired after all this excitement, so we'll take you up on that offer. I'm pretty sure Peach stays here the whole game, and you can just visit her and have her heal you and restore all of your paint, I think, as well, anytime you want. Good luck, Mario. Don't hesitate to come visit me if your health runs low. Or if you just need some good old-fashioned encouragement. Go, Mario. Yeah, she'll restore our health. I'm afraid I must be off. 
quite a lot to attend to. Good luck there, Mario. Let's actually take a look inside. And this is what it looks like. There's a room over here, and this is where Peach is. It's kind of nice. Okay, let's deal with these Goombas. The first level of the game, which is what we're doing right now, is really, really long. Like, it has already been almost an hour. Oh, they didn't quite get him. Let's get rid of this tape, and now we have a shortcut. We can make our way up here, and we can see why exactly the water isn't flowing. Look at that guy, he's so focused on stealing paint, he hasn't even noticed it's approaching. But that's why the wheel isn't spinning, he's taking the call right out of the water. Yeah, wheel only in my pocket. Can we make our way over here? Oh my goodness, we can. Don't think there's anything over here. Yeah, there isn't. Yeah. Nothing over here. But it is it is really cool that you can walk over there before um, you activate the water. There we go, get the first strike on this guy. There we go. Took care of this guy. And now, all we gotta do is paint the water and. The wheel's gonna start spinning once again, which should unroll all of the TP. And now, Port Prisma's restored. Back to the way it was before, and the normal music as well as playing, which is really, really nice. We can make our way all the way up here, and finally grab the Paint Star. Yes, we made it to the big Paint Star, Mario. Let's go grab it. Hmm, actually, this isn't a big Paint Star after all. It's much too small. Mario, this is a mini Paint Star. Yeah, figured as much, buddy. Not to worry. This is a good sign. Mini Paint Stars... I kind of like baby big paint stars. We must be on the right track. Neat paint stars will always lead to big paint stars. This is probably why I really like this game so much, because it reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy with all the stars that you can collect. And there's six different colors. And there can be multiple colors in the same level. So that, that it really is kind of like Super Mario Galaxy in that way, where you have to collect power stars, then collect the grand stars, and there's different colors of stars that you can collect too. Big paint stars reach my beautiful fountain being restored to its former glory. Yep. Whoa, what's going on? 
a massive gust of wind. And look at that, that is a big airship. <laughs> There's a toad stuck to the bucket. Well, that's not good. That airship is making off with a huge bucket of paint. Yep. Did they steal all that from Port Prisma? Grab this red mini paint star and let's get moving. Ding, ding. And it has the same outro as a uh, sticker star. Now we'll get put on the world map and... A new area is revealed. Alrighty guys, well, this was quite a long first episode, but because of that, that is going to have to do it for this episode of Paper Mario Color Splash. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will make our way over to the second level, but I will see you guys then.